Thanks very much for the update. So far tonight, most intense storms, of Scott, uh, as Scott has detailed, mostly north and west of the immediate Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Jason Allen, I mentioned off the top, has been following them tonight. He's joining us right now from Decatur with the latest from there. Jason? Yeah, and Doug, that storm's been a bit of a slow mover. If you see any lightning flashback behind us live tonight, that's that same storm, storm as it moves across Denton, one of those storms Scott was just showing you. We can also see lightning flashing down to our south and our west. So Decatur, even though it's dry right now, somewhat surrounded by it, we have some winds that have gusted in the last few minutes. And just a few miles up the road, back towards sunset where you showed that video, that is where there was some heavy rain and at least a couple of rounds of hail, really stretching over a good 90 minutes earlier this evening. That first round of hail started pounding sunset which is just south of Bowie, and it started as pea-sized hailstones, and then it, it grew up into nickel and quarter, and then a few golf ball-sized hailstones, things that were getting into the damaging stage. This was the same system that affected Jacksboro for a couple hours tonight. We saw drivers pulling off a of 287. They were trying to crowd under gas station canopies, get cover, but for a lot of people, it was really too late to protect anything. The rain you can't see 10 feet ahead of you. That was it. You couldn't see where you were going. So I didn't want to be pulled over on the side of the road, have somebody hit me. You know, I mean, so I just thought I'd pull over. I should have got under there before everybody else. And there were wrecks along 287 tonight. We'd passed a couple that appeared where someone had gotten hit after just trying to pull off to take cover from the hail. And although the winds have not been excessive during these first storms that bubbled up, there were some reports out of Monte County tonight of some trees and some power lines down as well. We're live in Decatur in Wise County tonight. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. On the road for us. Thank you, Jason. We appreciate the update from there. Just the risk of bad weather resulted in hundreds of flight cancellations at DFW Airport and also Dallas Love Field. Southwest Airlines made the decision to go ahead and cancel all their flights at their home base at Love Field between 6 and 10 o'clock tonight. Again, it was an abundance of caution. American Airlines, meanwhile, also reduced operations over at DFW tonight. The airline has even flown some planes out of DFW to get them out of harm's way. They have also put as many planes as they can in hangars to avoid possible hail damage overnight. And over at the ballpark in Arlington, right now, Rangers fans showed up despite the forecast, and it looks like they're going to probably get out before the bad weather moves in. Andrea. Lucia live for us over at the park at this very hour. Andrea? Doug, it is windy right now. You can see the Texas flag back here giving us a wave. Attendance was relatively low tonight because of the forecast, but some fans chose to take a chance on the weather. As game time drew near, some fans say they thought for a second about skipping it. That's all it was, split second. Didn't look that bad, so we decided to come out. Some came prepared with rain jackets. Several we spotted used rubber mats, tarps, and blankets to try to protect their cars just in case. We parked our truck under a tree, so hopefully we'll see how that goes. The Texas Rangers have been monitoring the weather all week. The weather service started issuing uh, you know, forecasts for this type of evening as uh, early as Monday, which is a little unusual for the National Weather Service. So that got our attention. Executive Vice President of Business Operations Rob Matwick says both teams, the umpires and Major League Baseball, have been communicating and decided to move forward with the game. But they're keeping an eye on developing conditions. We'll play as deep as we can in the night, hopefully get it in. Uh, if we can't, we'll, we'll deal with those circumstances whenever we get there. Fans here tonight are counting on the rain to hold off. But even if it does hit. It's still worth coming? Even if you get stuck in the rain, it's still worth coming? It's still worth coming, yes, because we're going to beat the Angels. That's why. Well, once the game is in progress, it is up to the umpire to decide if and when it should stop. He, of course, is relying on updated information, though, from the Texas Rangers. I did talk to the team, by the way, about how different this is going to be next year when they're playing in a ballpark with a roof on it. They say even then they're going to be having to keep a close eye on the weather just to make sure conditions aren't too dangerous for fans who are driving in. Reporting live in Arlington, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thanks very much.